Hey guys, it's Lomas K. Uh, this is my three week update um, since I had gastric sleeve surgery on July 26, 2019. Um, the day after my three weeks, so three weeks and one day, I did a, um, a charity run on the back of my husband's motorcycle. Um, I did take some Tylenol and things um, the ride was okay, and so we hit, like, construction, there was, like, a lot of bouncing. That was a little uncomfortable, I must say. Um, we did do a lot of stops. We stopped at, like, bars and stuff like that, and obviously, I'm on pureed food, so I couldn't really eat what everybody else was eating, hot dogs, hamburgers, wings pizza that fun yummy stuff um everybody was like drinking beers and you know irish trash cans which was my favorite alcohol when i did start to drink a little bit um i didn't really think because i was so busy like socializing and like spending time with my husband um, my parents were on the ride as well and so i was spending time with everybody I wasn't thinking like drink 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 and when you have a water bottle in the side saddle um, it gets hot really quick because it was like in the 90s so when I took a sip I was like nope whatever and so eventually we had to go get me like a Gatorade from a gas station real quick um, because someone broke down so we had to go help them real quick so we stopped and then we went to help them and because I got to the point where I was like actually like really thirsty and my husband was like well you know when you start to get thirsty that means you're already starting to be dehydrated and he's like no I gotta stop I have to teach you something I'll let them know we're on our way I was like okay geez so we stopped he got me Gatorade he like literally monitored how much I was drinking to make sure and then when we stopped again he's like drink a little more so every time then he was like get a water while we're here and then finally we did our last stop and it was at like mm, seven eight o'clock at night and we started we left the house at like seven in the morning eight in the morning and um i was like you know what i'm gonna try the cream of crab soup so that's what I did. I had cream of crab soup in a little bowl and I ate a little bit and then I waited and I was like, why are you eating soup? Cause no one really knows that I had the surgery. Not that I really care if they do. I did tell a couple of them. There's just people that aren't like that close to me in the group that I don't really care to tell them. It's not something important and for them. So I was just like, for one, I do love cream of crab soup. I always have. And I was like, I just want to try something new here. I haven't had their cream of crab soup. So that's what I did. And it went down perfect. I waited my 30 minutes and I drank some more water. The only problem was is the people that didn't know I had surgery was like trying to like buy me Irish trash cans and shots of Fireball and shots of American honey. And I'm just like, no, I'm good. I'm not drinking tonight. I'm fine. Eventually I had to tell my one friend um, I was like, listen, this is, I had surgery like three weeks ago and I cannot have alcohol right now. Maybe later on I can have just a little bit, but no, not happening. Um, the puree food doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I mean, I did the cauliflower, like mashed cauliflower, so it's like mashed potatoes. Um, my mom and dad made spaghetti and they ground it up for me and sent it home um they also um my husband went out and got me a nutribullet so i had uh, my mom got me and made me um oh just lost my train of thought chicken salad chicken salad oh my gosh how, why was that so hard and tuna salad 
um, turkey salad, that type thing, um, was really good. Um, that's basically what I've been living off of. Um, oh, and puddings. I did have, like, unsweetened applesauce here and there, but it wasn't too appetizing for me. Um, so far, um, this past week, I was at 12, or sorry, 2, 212, 213, something like that. I'm down to 207 this week. Um, I did hit a little stall where I just sat at 210 for almost like four days, like four or five days, something like that. And yeah, so I mean, there's other things you can do. I am taking my vitamin, vitamin B12, my vitamin B1. I started a Flintstone vitamin. I mean, my kids already take them, so why not just grab one out of theirs? figure that was the easiest for now um it does say that you're allowed to have baby food um pureed chili or stew without noodles and rice pureed cooked meats cottage cheese pureed ricotta cheese pureed deli meat chicken turkey ham pureed eggs oh i did have scrambled eggs um Pureed fish, tuna pack, crab meat, pureed fruit, fresh or frozen, um, pureed non-starchy vegetables, refried beans or hummus, unsweetened applesauce. Now, I have learned when I did eat the sisketti, I'm sorry, spaghetti, um, that I guess I was enjoying it a little too much, so I did actually get full. That was the first time, like, I really got, like, full, full. And I was like, ugh. I haven't felt, like, nausea or anything or vomiting. Um, I have been a little tired here and there. Um, I did do a thing with the church where it's, like, a book bag giveaway and, um, spent the day doing that and then went school shopping, um, uh, because my kids... Well, my, one of my daughters goes to school this Wednesday, another one not until September. So we went and did school shopping, got the rest of supplies, um, clothes shopping, and that night and the next day I was just like, I don't want to do anything. I just want to like lay here. I just feel like, ugh, my body didn't want to move. Um, when we did back to school night, I stood for two to three hours just walking around the school and that was tiring I was kind of exhausted um, I do try to do like protein as much as possible to help that I do take an extra little vitamin B12 sublingual underneath my tongue um, midday to see if it helps me a little bit it seems like it does now when I make my protein shakes, my husband, I make him one. He's been doing the stuff as well with me, trying to be supportive and trying to get healthy as well. Um, he's actually lost, um, about nine pounds doing this since I had surgery. Um, he's definitely more into like the vegetables, the fruits. Um, getting his protein shakes in. He likes to do that in the morning Before he goes to work He said usually the days like if he skips it he can tell that he doesn't have as much energy when he does have a protein shake um, I Think that's about it um, Bowel movements, I don't really have a whole lot um, gas, not really gassy, burping, I burp, I mean, <laughs> that's the only thing I really do is burp a lot, like I burp before, and I could fake burp and stuff like that, and people would laugh, now it's like, I'm all the time burping, or my stomach, it talks, like it has its own conversation, girl, and sometimes I'm like, 
can you hear that? <laughs> can you hear my stomach? Cause I can definitely, especially if I have like headphones in and it's like really, I can feel it. I'll take my headphones out and be like, can you guys hear my stomach or not? Because to me it sounds like it's really loud, but most of the time they don't hear it. Oh, and another thing that helps me get through is um, sugar-free fudge pops. Yeah, that's usually like my before I go to bed thing. I have one fudge pop and then I go lay down. I usually watch it when I'm, I mean, I eat it when I'm watching like a movie that I catch up on or one of my TV shows. Um, yeah, so now that I got my Nutribullet, I'm going to the grocery store today. Give me some frozen fruit and some spinach and all that and start making some smoothies for now on as a snack. Um, like in between my meals. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated and y'all have a good day. See ya.